Hi guys! Um, this is actually a collab video this week uh, with, I think I'm getting it right, Mel, Yara Mel. I'm going to put the link up top um, so that you guys can click on her. She's super, super cool. Um, I reached out to her uh, earlier, actually later last year because the new year just started. But anyway, and she decided for us to go ahead and do a collab. And so we're doing a collab for, can you guess? Look at the color that I'm wearing, guys. Can you guess what we're doing a collab on? Valentine look. Anyway, I know I look like I'm ready for game day um, for football, but I know nothing of football. So anyway, as you can tell, it's just my contouring and highlighting um, routine that I did. And I just want to do my uh, eye makeup so then I can sweep my setting powder um, off. Anyway, let me get into it. As I said, um, I've already I've already moisturized my face, I've already primed my face, I've already put my foundation on, I've already used my concealer, and did I forget anything? My concealer, and that's it. Dark concealer, light concealer. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm looking through Glamour Magazine, um, Cosmo, uh, Elle, um, Harper Bazaar, any one of those magazines that you pick up that has anything to do with fashion, um, majority of the look right now that I'm seeing on the runway, um, for spring at least, is like, um, kind of like, how can I describe it, like silver shimmery, um, eyes, and so this is what I'm going for, and I hope you guys like it, and I hope Mel, Yara Mel, um, you like it as well. Anyway, let me get into it before this video becomes super, super long. Um, a MAC palette, and I am going to be using Gesso, G-E-S-S-O, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, and it's that color. So I'm going to go ahead and using my brush, if I can find it, there it is, no wonder I tried to make it easy on myself, and it actually became a little bit difficult. Uh, my Japanese brush number 232 looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and go into Gesso. And just apply it to my lid. And these are the type of colors that I'm seeing. Just like the only thing that comes to mind is a frosty kind of look. Frosty shimmery kind of look. So now of course I'm going to add, apply gesso to the other eye. And you can actually do this, um, hence the collab, the Valentine collab. I will suggest that you guys actually, if you want to um, try this look, try it for Valentine's if you are at dinner or anything like that. Um, anyway, using my 231 uh, Japanese brush, my angled brush, my favorite, I'm just going to blend that and sweep it backwards. There we have it. Now next I'm going to go in and using my vellum frost. Um, looks like that guys. I'm going to go ahead using the same brush I used before. My Japanese brush um, 232. I'm going to now go in from the tear duct. And just drag it across. Try this color. It kind of has like a purple undertone. A purple pinkish undertone. I don't know if you guys can see it. So going back again using my Japanese 231. My angled brush. I am now going to sweep it once again across. And I'm just going for like a sweet, clean, romantic look. So, Apply a little bit of, let's see here, what is this? Um, I think it's called Dabline, D-A-B-L-I-N-E. And it's kind of like a pinkish color. And it looks like that, guys. So I'm going to be using that in the crease. 
just a little bit don't go crazy with it and using my ultra professional tapered crease eyeshadow brush I'm now going to be applying that to the crease like right here guys see it just to kind of give it like a color differentiation just so that you can see the difference like a transitional color so you want to put that all the way in the corner to like midpoint and then drag again so there we go so start from the center and drag it outward and then put it in the corner of the crease And so those are where the two colors are going to actually meet and be blended. And hopefully it looks seamless. But with practice, it will. So going back again, um, using my Japanese brush 231, which is my angle brush, I am now going to gently sweep backwards. As you can see, all three colors should be blended. See that? Oh no. <laughs> My other eye can't do it. I have to relax it. There we have it. So now, being as though it's plain and simple, um, now what I'm going to be going in is actually lining my lids with Perversion. This is a color and it's Urban Decay. It's the company or the brand. So once again, I always tell you guys, pull your outer corner. And now, I just love how this just glides on your lid. And if you have like a little boo-boo, don't forget, use your Q-tip and get it off. And then apply it to the other eye. Take your time. You don't have to be in a rush. And what I do is just dab a little. You don't want to go across the whole eye because it's a day. You don't want to go like super dramatic. And then you go from the back to midpoint. So now um, I'm going to be using my ultra professional small eye shader brush and just to blend it, blend it out. You're going to take it from the midpoint where you started with the eyeliner and drag it backwards. So it looks like that. So all you're doing, doing basically you're just cleaning up. using is uh, Rimmel London Scandalous Eyes Scan the Eyes if I can read um, and the color is 001 and it's witness white and now I'm gonna actually do the inner part of my lower lids just to open up my eyes so just do your bottom waterline So there we go. I'll so using this color since it's uh, how can I? It's kind of like a creamy consistency. It glides right on, um, crayon consistency, I guess. And all I'm gonna do now is just take it and just line it over here and glide it across. So you just want to highlight the corner. Do the same thing over here. And line it. So now we're gonna, of course, clean it up so that somebody's not looking at you like, Whoa, are you sure you finished your makeup routine? 
Um, using my brush, I never remember where I purchased this brush, but it looks like that, guys. So if you have one similar to this, go ahead and use it. And just sweep it across. Sweep it upward. And there we have it. So now I'm going to continue with my face. And I'm going to be using my bronzer. Uh, this is Maybelline bronzer and the color is Copper Cabana. I'm just going to go ahead and dab it in. And the color looks like that, guys. Gorgeous color. It's like screaming, summer, summer, calm now. We can't do this cold anymore. Of course, you want to do the fish face because it gives, um, it actually, you know, shows you where the natural dent is, like the hollow of your cheeks. So you want to do that. And now, using my Real Technique brush, uh, it's Dua Fiber Face Brush. I'm going to go ahead and just blend that in. Sweeping across in a circular motion and circular and the same as downward. So sweeping it across the blend. Applying my uh, blush and my blush is by MAC and it's Pinch O Peach. The color looks like that, guys. I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks, sweep it across, and last but not least for my face, I am going to now use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And this is soft and gentle. Gentle. What is going on with my mouth today? Color looks like that, guys. Using my same the same brush. I'm just lightly sweeping across. And going across again. Now using my fan brush, since I'm done with my eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and sweep backwards. I'm going to sweep my setting powder off. I'm using Sephora Rouge Shine number 31, and it looks like that, guys. That's what I'm using for my lips. I'm just lightly applying it as if it's a stain. And don't be shy to use your fingers. And this should be the color. As if you've been kissing or sucking or nibbling on a piece of berry, I don't know, a strawberry, a raspberry, whatever is red, um, like you've just been sucking on it and it just so happened your lip turned out this color. But anyway guys, I hope you guys like this. Happy Valentine's to all you lovebirds out there. And if you are alone this Valentine's, um, trust me, you don't have to feel sad for yourself. You need to go out, you need to treat yourself. I don't care. Go to the spa, do your nails, something. Be your own Valentine's, okay? Because you have so many years ahead of you that you're going to find eventually a Valentine. Don't ever, ever, ever feel sad for yourself because you don't have a boyfriend or you don't have somebody to call your own Valentine's. You be your own Valentine's, okay? Well, make sure you subscribe, comment down below, and rate. Happy Valentine's, guys. Bye.